All right, so without getting too long-winded, uh, we're gonna talk about static balancing and the importance of that in your rotating assembly. So basically, we want everything to weigh as close as close to the same as it can uh, across the board. Um, I weighed everything out in grams, and these are aftermarket uh, OE replacement pistons, and the quality is not the best. As for, and I did find that this is fairly common, so if you are building a Volkswagen diesel with aftermarket replacement pistons, then you may run into this. So if you look here, I got a light piston at 626 and a half grams, and I've got a heavy piston at 631.1 grams. That is a lot. Um, it's not gonna be the end of the world. I'm gonna show you kind of a trick for that. Um, so you can kind of work around it. So you can see that I've, I've, I haven't put any of this in order, but I weighed out my wrist pins as well. And actually for my lighter piston, I'm gonna end up running my, my heaviest wrist pin here uh, to help offset that. Now, in this case, uh, I actually had to resort to uh, a little more finer measurement of the rods. So if you look here, this is the total weight of the rods. Uh, and it, for your you know, oil consumption rebuild, whatever, if you're replacing rods, uh, then this is this is fairly adequate okay I know that it's not the best thing to do but it is adequate for your garage build um, if you're reusing your your original rods put them back in the cylinders that they came from um, and just yeah that's that's what you need to do so in this case um, looking at a, 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 a split weight jig so we measure the, the small end and the big end of the rod. I know it's out of frame, but um, so I'll let you see here. So that's the, the weight of the small end, the weight of the big end. So what is gonna happen here is I'm actually going to be pairing my, my heaviest rod and heaviest wrist pin with my lightest piston, okay? Um, just to, to counteract it. Now on a four cylinder, it's not, the uh, it's not nearly as critical um, compared to a, a V6 V8 uh, as far as the the weight and everything um, so if you're building a V6 or V8 or whatever any V motor this needs to be more critical and if you run into something like this then you probably need to get another piston um, but also you know talk to your machinist and see what see what they think um, because in, in some cases, you know, there, there's gonna be a pad on top here or a pad down here that uh, will allow you to take some weight away. Um, you never wanna get in the business of trying to add weight. I'm sure people have done it and it probably worked, maybe, uh, but that's not the business that I'm in. So, uh, but yeah, just to give you a rough understanding, we wanna try to make everything weigh the same across the board or you know, we do some math, look at these things, and uh, try and pair it up in an order that makes more, that, that, that kind of equals out. Um, now, on nice pistons from like Male, JE, Weissco, um, I've never had them weigh uh, any different between maybe a tenth of a gram of each other. Um, so I'm able to get really, really fine uh, adjustment on those. Um, and even these rods, they're not the greatest rods. So take that for what it's worth. Um, you know, I've had uh, rods from like uh, uh, powder. Those are really, really good, really good quality control. These, I'm not sure exactly where they're made. I know who sells them, but I'm not sure exactly where they're made. So, and there's some, some inconsistencies there. Um, so yeah, you can actually see so so yeah uh just in a nutshell yeah like i said just try to try to get it as balanced as you can um if you're it's all relative to what you're doing if you're building a, a high rpm uh race car dirt track car uh whatever then this has to be a whole lot more critical remember this is a diesel so there is a a fair bit of robustness to this and i i did measure the oem pistons 
and there was variations on the original pistons as well so i know that these things can run uh you know fine with some some variations and stuff but um doing some some rough math before i recorded it looks like i'm going to be able to get within a, a gram and a half uh rotationally uh to to counter for this guy so uh we should be we should be in good shape we should be in good shape so so yeah uh next video we'll kick back off on the uh, oil clearance for the for the rods uh get a couple other measurements done and uh probably be gapping these rings get this get this nice and set up and yeah move on uh if you have any questions please leave a comment i'll try to answer as best i can um oh uh one thing so split weight jig it's it's a little expensive um i did find online there are if you if you got a 3d printer uh there are files available to print a split weight jig if you want one so you just google that and if you got a printer or know somebody with a printer print one up it's a whole lot cheaper than uh buying one especially if you're not really going to use it again then uh yeah but but being that uh, this is fairly normal i have one so uh yeah 